Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today, we will go through the day 12 problem from the July Lead Coding Challenge. Reverse Bits Please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. We need to reverse the bits of a given 32-bit unsigned integer. For the given example, we can see that the output has bits in a reversed order. Similarly for this one, however, its most significant bit is 1. The integer conversion of this would be assigned integer minus 3. Thus, we need to be careful while reversing the bits as we need to perform the operation on an unsigned integer. We will take two approaches, one where we have a loop and one wherein we do not have a loop. Watch till the end to learn both. The first one is the basic approach where we will perform the bit shift. Let's take the first example. To handle the signed bit, we will keep a boolean variable to track it. We will initialize a response variable to store the reversed int. We will loop over the input to reverse all the unsigned bits. For reversing a bit, we first find the value of the last bit and copy it in the result at last position. To do this, we perform operation as shown. Here, the AND operation will give the value of bit and the OR operation will put it in the result. For our example, it will copy 0 in result. Now we need to prepare the input and response for our next iteration. So, we shift the input to right by one bit so that we can copy the next bit in the next iteration. We also shift the response left by one bit so that at the end we will get the reverse string. So, the input and response for our next iteration looks like this. We will repeat this till all the bits are reversed. At the end, the result will look like this and we will return the result. Since the previous example had 0 in the most significant bit position, we did not have to perform any additional operations. But if it were 1, we would have to find the 2's complement instead of 1's complement to make the integer positive. 2's complement of a number is obtained by adding 1 to the 1's complement. Thus, for a signed integer, result would be result plus 1. The time and space complexity for this method is O of 1. Now comes an interesting question. Can we do it without using the loop? Yes, we can use the divide and conquer strategy to achieve it without having the loop. Let's see how we do that. Taking the same input, we will first divide it into two parts and then reverse the bits in green and blue. To do this, we will need two masks. With ones in the position of bits we want to keep and zero in the position of bits we want to discard. The AND operation of the mask with input will preserve half of the bits as we can see on screen. To reverse this bits, we shift the green bits to blue region and blue bits to green region. We achieve it by shifting the bits right and left 16 bits respectively. After doing so, this becomes our output. We then merge both of them by performing an OR operation. And we can see that the regions are now swapped. We need to perform the same for the chunks of 8, 4, 2 and 1 bit wherein the output of first will be the input for second. This is how the operations will look like. Now let's see how to find the value for mask. For finding a 16-bit mask, in mask 1, we want first 16 bits as 1 and second 16 bits as 0. If we write these as hexadecimal format, then we know 1111 or 15 in hex is f. So the mask becomes f f f f. 0, 0, 0, 0. Similarly, the mask 2 will become 0, 0, 0, 0, ff, ff. If we take an 8-bit representation, the mask becomes as follow. Similarly, for 4 bits and for 2 bits and for 1 bit. The time and space complexity for this method is still O of 1. You can find the link to all the codes in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you think about the video.